All right, January. It's historically the coldest time of year, and we can now see, just past that seven-day forecast, a significant Arctic blast. It's called the Arctic Oscillation. Meteorologist Ryan Shoptaw explains. During the winter, the jet stream helps transport colder air south, where upper-level winds dislodge Arctic air that's trapped in the northern latitudes. Now, this is all dependent on the current flow of the jet stream and what phase the Arctic Oscillation is in. Over the North Pole, a strong mid to high level circulation helps influence weather and climate across the globe. This oscillation is directly tied to the polar vortex, something you'll hear a lot of during the winter. When the Arctic Oscillation is positive, colder air stays bottled up over the North Pole. When it's negative, the jet stream weakens and turns into a wavy pattern, which allows polar Arctic air to spill southward. And the first surge of cold air is expected to move in soon. Computer models are depicting the first push after January 11th, meaning temperatures over the northern United States will be near or below zero. While the air mass will modify as it pushes closer to Texas, this will mean several nights at or below freezing, something to prepare for later this week. Wrapping pipes and covering plants as temperatures trend below average by the middle of the month. So winter is coming. Now we're not expecting much rain with this next weather system, so icing should not be an issue, but it's important to keep up with an ever-changing forecast. Ryan Shoptel, Kins 5.